Sea turtles are one of the Earth's most ancient creatures, dating from the time of dinosaurs, over 100 million years ago. With a large shell called a carapace, paddle-like flippers, and a beak-like mouth structure, turtles are characterized as reptiles. So they have lungs. So um, whenever you see them, they always come up to take some breaths, a few breaths, and then they go back down. And depending on the species, some of them can stay between two to four hours underneath the water. Of the six species of sea turtles found in Australian waters, three species are commonly seen in the waters around Lady Elliot Island. The green turtle, the hawksbill turtle, and the loggerhead turtle. The green and loggerhead turtles nest here at Lady Elliot Island between the months of November and March. They lay the eggs, they give the eggs some time to develop, and then when those babies are ready, they'll hatch, they'll expose themselves out of the sand, and they'll make their way down the beach into the ocean. So basically to get to the beach they have to run a gauntlet. So they have all sorts of things trying to eat them. You'll have seagulls that are trying to get at them, even if they can make it past the seagulls. When you look down to the ocean, you'll see just lots of sharks going back and forth, and they're all just trying to get a little, little taste of these guys. I mean, they're little nutritious, full of energy, little morsels. It's basically like popcorn for, the, for anything that wants to eat them. Only one in 1,000 hatchlings survive to adulthood. Globally, turtle populations are declining. Sea turtles face many threats from human-related activities, including litter, such as plastic bags. They do like to feed on things like jellyfish, which are some of their favorite prey. But something that looks very similar to jellyfish is plastic bags. And there is a lot of marine pollution in the ocean. So any turtle that will ingest one of those plastic bags as a mistake um, from ingesting um, a jellyfish will actually won't be able to get rid of. And so these days you get a lot of turtles that ingest so much plastic that they end up dying from it. Based on the low reproductive rates of sea turtles and threats to their survival population, recovery takes many decades. But in these waters off Queensland, some laws have been introduced specifically to protect the turtles. Rachel Robillard, UT Australia.